my leg got amputated and then I became homeless. I've been homeless since 1968. I was kicked out the house at the age of eight years old. I lived in the field across the street from my mother's house for three years. I was on the streets at 10 in Salt Lake City for a couple of years and then I started hopping freight trains and that's what got me out of the city and traveling everywhere. So really by the time I was 12, I was traveling all over the place. Our friends that live on the streets never laid in bed at night dreaming about being homeless, smoking crack, living in places not considered habitable on human standards. They did not make that choice. But when you've been told all of your life that you were one glorious giant pile of poo, and then we stuff you to the furthest fringes of society, there's not a human on the planet that would respond favorably to that kind of treatment. We believe that we've created a new movement called Community First. Community First Village is a 27-acre master plan community designed specifically to lift the chronically homeless up off the streets of the Austin area into a place that they can call home, heal from the ravages of living on the streets and rediscovering a purpose in their life and then going out and beginning to care for others in the world. When I first pulled in off Hog Eye Road and I first seen the TPs and the vintage RVs, it was just, it, it was insane. Never seen anything like it. You know, where else can you gonna go? You're gonna see humongous TPs on platform, a row of vintage RVs, and it being a bed and breakfast. And you pull on closer, you know, you got the, a bus stop in the neighborhood. And you go a little further, then you got RVs, people living in, micro homes down on the lower side. It's just unbelievable, and then finally passed by the gardens. I think the greatest achievement for Community First Village is the philosophy itself. What we believe is a new movement, a new understanding as to how valuable community is. An understanding that says that housing will never solve homelessness, but community will. It's an understanding that we have to move from the transactional side of thinking that we can solve these giant human problems to a relational side that says it takes relationships, you and I, one-on-one, -on -one, human to human, heart to heart, in order to really begin to move that needle.